These ricotta dumplings are special because yes, they're pillowy, they're light, they're delicious, but they also have like this beautiful almond shape to them. Are you ready? All right. Not all ricotta is created equally. You're gonna look for ricotta that is on the dry side. Touch it, feel it, taste it, it should be crumbly. We're gonna make the dumpling batter with one and a half cups of ricotta. We're gonna measure out one cup of finely grated Parmesan. I like grana padano. We don't have it today, so I'm gonna use Parmesan. We're gonna add that. We're gonna do one egg, room temperature. And we're gonna do one yolk. Some bounce. Now this is a real room temperature yolk, yeah. So you're gonna add two and a quarter teaspoon kosher salt. <laughs> Why? Because you're dealing with a lot of fat here. You got fat from the cheese, fat from the ricotta, fat from the eggs, it's gonna need some salt. We're gonna give that a pulse so everything can be combined and well seasoned before you add the quarter cup flour. I repeat, quarter cup flour. Pulse. Look at that. It's nice and silky and smooth, it's one. Now we're gonna add a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. Pulse this until it just kind of come together. So boom, 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 ba, 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 boom. Pretty good. We're gonna get a rimmed baking sheet going. We're gonna add some flour to this. And just make sure it's covered. You don't want the dumplings sticking all over, sticking to each other, sticking to whatever. Second thing that's key is the spoon you use. Go with something similar to a, a dinner spoon. You're gonna take the spoon, you're gonna scoop a couple teaspoons out, then is scrape it against the side of the bowl. And then I use my index finger Dredge in a little bit of flour. Oh, I'm so excited. And then you're gonna do this. Boom, boom. Hi, Nana. Okay, how good is that? Look at that little pillow. That's like a tears from an angel. This is special. Do this for the love, your loved ones, your mother. We're gonna top it with more flour so they definitely don't stick. They're all dredge. And we're gonna start cooking them. Dumplings are the star, let them be. And then, if you want, just like give them a little bit of like green veg, like supplement it with that, and then you'll be good to go. I'm using asparagus, I'm using some chives, and a little bit of green garlic. All right, this might look like a, an enlarged green onion or a spring onion or something, but it's not. It's green garlic, it'll, it'll sometimes be labeled as spring garlic, but it'll go past the spring. You usually can see it in still June. I love it. Just add it to the sauce. Just focus, Andy. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep chopping, and I'm not gonna look, and you guys are gonna get so mad. I'm kidding. It smells great. Green, sweet, garlicky. We're getting our mise en place ready, so that once the pasta is going, we just can add, 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 build, 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 build. We're gonna wait till it brings to a boil. We're gonna blanch these for a few minutes, and then we're gonna transfer them to an ice bath, let them cool for a bit. That's all. All right, we got some boiling water here. I'm just gonna We'll season it generously, but it'll be a, a light, lightly seasoned. I'm gonna pour some chicken stock, preferably homemade. I'm gonna bring that to a simmer. And then while that's simmering, I'm gonna transfer some of the dumplings here. Do them one by one really quickly. They're gonna go for about four minutes. They're gonna rise to the surface. They're gonna get a little bit puffy. They're gonna collapse in your mouth with just like a little bit of weight from your tongue. Now we're gonna transfer the dumplings to the sauce. We'll keep it as a, just a little bit of a simmer. We're gonna add some green garlic. We'll add some butter. So we're gonna let this go for the green garlic to soften, the broth to slightly thicken, uh, and that'll take three minutes. Pinch of salt. If you're gonna season it, season it towards the end so it doesn't reduce too much, so the sun of the array doesn't increase by much. And then just towards the end, we'll add the chives and the asparagus and a little bit of lemon juice that brings some brightness. This is actually not the pasta that you can toss too easily, so don't do what I just did. Just kind of mix it gently. We're gonna turn off the heat. We're gonna toss the stupid towel that's not sticking on my shoulder. Holy shit. All right, the dumplings have doubled in size. 
Uh, they're looking beautiful. You got this buttery sauce, and we're just gonna plate it up like this. So I want this really saucy, more saucy than most pasta dishes. Parm, a little bit of oil, and then just like one bit of pepper. Oh, sorry, I'm not gonna be the salt guy, bay guy, whatever they're calling it. They're pretty perfect dumplings, really pillowy. They really are the most delicious ricotta dumplings I've ever had, period. That's it, enjoy them.